before I start this episode, first of all, Annie is a troublemaker, because I believe the announcer brainwashed Annie to not make her be a troublemaker, since everyone else besides June, Leo, Flane, the letter speaker boxes, and the announcer believe that she isn't one. And another thing, Quincy better not be in the next season, otherwise QSB- What the heck did you just say to these two future characters that you didn't know about? What the? Who the heck are you and how did you do? Finally, we have the chosen one. Certainly Eliminator, that alligator is not going anywhere for the rest of his life. And Alexander, you are done. You are really done forever, and, as for your final punishment of yours, I'm gonna make you lose your memories of the future letter speaker boxes, and the characters the future letter seasons. Because every time, during each letter season, and even the past, all of the characters in the letter speaker boxes from the arcade park doesn't know about the future characters, and the future letter speaker boxes, until when a letter season is complete by Cole, they will remember it again, or learn it for the first time instead if they still don't know it. Wait, you mean all this time? The characters and everyone in the arcade park doesn't remember and know about the future characters, letters and the letter speakers boxes from the future letter seasons in each letter season? Because in each letter season from A to O, the characters from that arcade park that doesn't know all the letters, and they don't know about the characters from the future seasons. How did you know that? That's a good question, because when Cole is a child in 2005, after when he was born in 2004, in November, he is about to learn the alphabet and leapfrog, starting about the letter A. So in 2021, when the show starts, he pretends that he is gonna learn the alphabet letters, but doesn't remember the future letters yet. But then when Cole is done learning this letter, he moves on to the next letter. And this is why the arcade park make lots of words without using future letters, so we can follow the rules. Oh okay, I understand your rules, but I still have to gonna go with Annie, because she is acting like a spoiled brat. And I don't care that child abuse, and I will still bully her, and you have to get used to this. Not for long that you won't for this, if you're gonna send Annie to cheat jail, or anything else trying to do crimes with her. You will be sent to cheat jail for approximately 5 years, with your barbaric behavior, so don't do this again anymore, otherwise you're done for the rest of your life. Like when a teenager broke the doorknob in the museum, when his boss steals his reward, for doing his consequences of his actions, but Alexander, if you're gonna escape your punishment, I guess I have no choice from two years, but dinner served to eat cocoons with your crush Calamaria, and no, she is not divorcing you, she is watching you sometimes without joking around. <laughs> and now will you excuse me, we're heading out, and let's start the new episode. Wait, before you're gonna leave me, who is- Welcome back to Alphabet Character Elimination. It's time for the six character elimination center. Now before we eliminated two people instead of one, Princess Peach, I really love your pink dress, it looks perfect to me. Why thank you. This will be my new dress during the final of our season. Okay, you're talking a bit too quiet, but I understand your deal of this, but anyways, Pencil and Pac-Man are eliminated, and as for the rest of you four, here's your... Mustachio! What? This machine thingy must be broken! <laughs> Wow, I'm really gonna remember that Pencil is the first contestant to be eliminated in BFDIEAC, which is Cole's show about math and numbers, and the musical low-tone song of Super Pac-Man Intermission. I didn't mean that literally, but anyhow, contestants, since Cole has his four final weeks left before the end of his field school of the Canadian Bushplane Heritage Center, the twelfth challenge is a plane race, each contestant rides on an old aircraft, like the DHC-2 Beaver, who is named, CFOBS, but we cannot make that word because that's cheating, but anyways, whoever which contestant flies his plane the fastest wins, and the other three will be up for elimination, now start your engines. A few inches later. Well, if Purple Lewis, Princess Peach had won the race for loving each other, Patrick, Plush Trap, and Pluto are up for elimination. So, viewers, choose one of them right now, please. 
and there will be no voting like always in the last episodes in each season on our show, so, the two contestants will stay, one person will be eliminated and we will reach the final four, just like the final four episodes as equal. See you perfect kids later and find out. Oh, that's so cool. I remember in 2022, we used to have so much fun about Jim Henson Muppet commercials in the 1960s because the word coffee is a beverage brewed from roasted coffee beans. Darkly colored, bitter, and slightly acidic, coffee has a stimulating effect on humans primarily due to its caffeine content. It has the highest sales in the world market for hot drinks. If you're growing up, you can drink coffee. If you want to woke up, because this drink makes you wake up, this is a wake up drink, and there is a commercial for coffee called Community Coffee, where it aired in the early 1960s. Okay, buddy, what do you think of Community Coffee? I never tasted it. Now what do you think of Community? Loading. Oh yes. We're waiting for the 730th word. The word loading is the application of a mechanical load or force to something, or you can wait until it stops like in a computer. Hey, remember this. We remember in 2022, we're having a slowed and reverb concert with my friends Drake, Ariana, Lil Zuzi Vert, and Kane West, and we're singing lots of tunes in low tone while our fans are enjoying the dance moves when they're listening to our lovable songs or raps. And let me tell you, it was a total party in the USA. Yeah, I totally agree with that concept. Can you break it down for us? Because I remember when the Piperazzi squad That's hit right, up- That's right, Miley and Ariana. I have a perfect timing idea about this word for our celebration for our graduation this June. The word Coachella is an annual music and arts festival held at the Empire Polo Club in Indio, California, in the Coachella Valley, in the Colorado Desert. It was co-founded by Paul Tullett and Rick Van Santen in 1999, and is organized by Golden Voice, a subsidiary of Egg Presence, but it can only happen in April, not June. Sorry we're late. We're too slow to make lots of words. Don't stress, darling announcer. It's all about living in the moment and having a blast together. Imagine the vibes if we could transport ourselves back to April and serenade the fans with those slowed down, reverbed jams that make us feel like we're on cloud nine. Let's create a magical moment that will have everyone grooving and feeling alive, just like we're dancing through a field of wildflowers. Let's make some unforgettable memories, announcer. That's a great idea. We can do this idea. But like... What about Billie Eilish? She's got that edgy vibe that just totally speaks to me, you know? What the, what in the vocabularies is Billie Eilish? Wait, announcer, you don't know Billie Eilish? I haven't heard of her before, but at least I know Phineas, but who is she? Well, if you don't know Billie Eilish, she is a singer who has green hair, and she is the youngest one of all of the slowed reverb singers, Honey. She was born in December 18th, 2001, before 20 years later after when Alphabet Arcade Park Insanity is created, darling. I am not your darling, but I still don't know who she is. Wow. 
Well, that's it children, and kids, we learned 730 words so far for since 2 word years. Now we have come across the 3rd word year for the next 365 words. It's been a lot of chaos catastrophe of word building since the word whammer won't run out at all. It's most likely an endless word building machine. It's just keep making new words forever and I keep loving it. Well, happy new word year kids, and enjoy a life with new words to explore. Okay, the word doe is a female deer or an antelope, goat, rabbit, or any other certain of animals. Oh. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is this opposed to an inappropriate joke? Well, the word ho is an ancient and versatile agricultural and horticultural hand tool used to shape soil, remove weeds, clear soil, and harvest root crops. Shaping the soil includes piling soil around the base of plants, digging narrow furrows and shallow trenches for planting seeds or bulbs. That was one interesting boat to ride at camp. The word canoe is a lightweight narrow water vessel, typically pointed at both ends and open on top, propelled by one or more seated or kneeling paddlers facing the direction of travel and using paddles. Oh my goodness, the other team is on our tail. We gotta move faster. <laughs> Oh, that can't be good! <laughs>